guys, I'm Emily. Welcome to Scribbles from Emily, where we talk about finding the beauty in the everyday. Um, this is my son Bennett, and today I thought I'd take you guys along with me as I do a little bit of thrifting um, with my husband Brian, and I'll show you what I got at the end. And you can give me your opinion on a few things that I didn't get, but I might be having some regrets about. Along the way, I'll share some of my tips and tricks for finding the best stuff in thrift stores. So, here we go! The first things I found were these little suit bowls. These were from Crate and Barrel. And I thought they were super cute, although they're not really my style. Um, lots of knickknacks here. So... Edison has been wanting a pet cat, and I think this is about the only kind uh, Brian would allow us to have. Um, I thought this little bunny bank was kind of unique. I love blue and white dishes, and that could kind of go with them. Speaking of blue and white, I found this toothbrush holder, which is also really pretty. Uh, this light fixture caught my eye because of the unique color and finish. Depression class with that shiny finish. I can't remember what that's called. Um, not sure if it's valuable or not, but there's a lot of it. Oh. How much is the fire truck? 30? Yeah. So one of my first tips is to kind of look around the whole thrift store to get an idea of how it's organized and the different sections that are there. I highly recommend thrifting for kids clothes. They grow out of them so fast and you can often find really nice items like these shoes that are basically brand new. Lots of cute shoes. I haven't bought new shoes for Edison since he was a baby because I've been able to get everything that he needs from the thrift store. I really like these little loafers. And they're brand new. So cute. Another tip is to know what colors and patterns you like. So I know I'm immediately drawn to anything with stripes so I can scan over racks and look for stripes. The other thing I'm doing here, I'm looking for a chunky warm sweater. I found this one that has this pretty detail on the shoulders with the jewels and the lace trim on the bottom. Um, so I'm kind of scanning through looking just for kind of that thick chunky sweater. And I love anything with a little bit of sparkle too. Um, I like the sequins on this one. So that way, if you find yourself getting overwhelmed by all the items, because uh, thrift stores are usually pretty crowded, um, just remember what colors you actually like and um, patterns that you're drawn to or specific items that you are interested in. And you never know what you'll find. Like this 101 Dalmatian sweater. It's kind of rare these days to actually find a real ugly sweater. There's a few more chunky uh, sweaters that I liked um, that I thought about trying on. Not crazy about the ruffle at the bottom, but I like the sparkles. Uh, a little too fancy though for my everyday life. Um, I like the texture on that one, the colors. Um, my second tip, in addition to having a list, is also to keep an open mind. Maybe not too open, but, um, to be able to see potential in things, like, uh, even this blazer could be cute for a menswear-inspired look. Um, I've found pillows that have turned into, i found sweaters that have turned into pillows before, Sometimes uh, just using the fabric for a different project entirely. A 
the same time, my third tip is to be realistic. So if you see something that's really not your size, but you think I'll just take it in or um, I can use this for something else, uh, just be realistic about how much time you actually have. I like this pretty sparkly gray blanket. You never know what you could find in the home goods section. Thrift stores are a fantastic place to look for picture frames, especially really big ones that you would pay a lot of money for in the store. And also mirrors, like this one I look at every time I go and always think about buying it. You can take art out and switch it out for something else or paint over art. Um, And my last tip is if you don't love it, leave it. If it doesn't fit perfectly and you aren't absolutely in love with it, it's just not worth it. You, you will find that you actually won't wear it as much as you think and it will just end up taking up space in your closet until you donate it back. I'm all right. Yeah. And both of those should be half off. That's really nice. Look, that sweater even looks good with the... Sure. That's why I picked that one. What about those pants? <laughs> Loft? <laughs> cool. We'll try that. Okay. So not every thrift store has great shoes, but this one definitely does. I was looking for a pair of boots just like this a while back. And if anybody needs some Victorian boots, for cosplay or um, a period outfit, there you go. All kinds of different shoes. I love these <clears throat> purple suede shoes, but they are unfortunately not my size. But look at these, a little wedge with some gold shimmer. And wow, that's all I have to say about that. Let's see what we have over here. I'm seeing a pair down here at these sandals. I like those. Those look kind of like Birkenstock style sandals. Nike tennis shoes. They look brand new. Only $30. I look at these every time I go in. They're $40. But originally, of course, they were a lot more. These are very interesting. Land's End loafers. And these flats caught my eye in their navy. They're Bowden brand. And they're my size. Okay, so here I'm going to try some stuff on. But I had to show you what I'm wearing. Um, because this sweater I actually bought here at this very consignment store. And these boots are actually from here too. So here's the first sweater. Um, this is a J Crew. I like the elbow patches. I like the buttons. And it's gray. These jeans I fit me, but they're a little short, so I'm going to say no on that. This sweater I was really excited about because I love the chunky texture, but the front opening is like falling kind of weird, and so I don't know. But look at that pretty knit texture. These jeans fit me really well. Um, I'm liking these a lot better. They're not cropped weirdly at the ankle, like that first pair. Okay, so this one I just had to try on just for fun, because are you really a blogger if you don't own a pair of overalls? So, they actually fit me perfectly and they're really comfortable. <laughs> yeah, I'm checking out how my backside looks in these. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Can I pull it off? Let me know in the comments below what you think. Alright, so now I'll show you what we found. 
I paid about $30 total for everything that we got. Um, and part of that was because I had some credit at the consignment store from selling a few things. But everything was also half off. Oh. Hi. First uh, is this Brooks Brothers sweater. It's a nice um, soft gray material. It was half off. I want to say it was like around $10. So a really great deal. And it just so happens to match um, the next thing we got, which is this button-up shirt from Express for Brian. It is brand new with the tags still on it. And it was about $5, so a really great deal. And then this shirt is also for Brian. It is from H&M. And um, he has one that's this color already, but it's never really fit well. So he was excited to find one that uh, actually did, and only for five bucks. And then I found what I was looking for in these jeans. These are loft uh, modern skinny jeans in a dark wash. And they're super flattering and super comfortable. And I'm really excited about those. And then I couldn't pass up this sweater. I normally don't go for things with ruffles, but uh, Rachel Hollis actually wears one that um, looks pretty similar to this and is really cute. And so when I saw it, I had to get it too. So it's a Banana Republic sweater and it was also half off and it was $7. So I'm excited to wear that. So let me know what you thought of my um, thrift store finds in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And um, don't forget to comment below if you think I should go back and get that pair of overalls. And thanks so much for watching. Bye. Ow. Ow. So if Ben doesn't strangle me, I'll show you what we got.